Good morning. Welcome to the Breakfast Biscuit. It is Tuesday, October the 3rd, 2023 at 6.05 a.m. And this morning we are in Psalm 119.75. Yes, the longest psalm uh, in the Bible, the longest chapter in the Bible. And the title of this morning's Breakfast Biscuit is, You Needed It. You Needed It. So, let me ask you a question. Have you ever taken someone's car keys away from them because they were drunk? When they're drunk, they want to contest the matter. When they sober up, they tell you how much they appreciate it. I remember some conversations with Joe H., my father. I would say something like, that hurt. And he would say something like, I meant for it too. And then after a very brief silence, he would follow that with, there's more where that came from if you don't straighten up. It seems to me such conversations are foreign to the world today. Let me remind you, I would say to him for some measure of discipline, that hurt. And he would say, I meant for it to. And follow that with, there's more where that came from if you don't straighten up. I assure you, I had plenty of struggles like it was. But if he hadn't done what he did in discipline and did it over and over and that and did it or done it had if he hadn't done it I'll get it out here in a minute if he hadn't done it over and over consistently I would be in a world of hurt now God is the ultimate heavenly father and he disciplines those whom he loves Psalm 119 75 says this please listen carefully I know O Lord that your regulations are fair you disciplined me because I needed it wow I know, O oh Lord, that your regulations are fair. You disciplined me because I needed it. It is a sober mind that says I needed it. Sometimes you're so far out of line, sobriety and balance that you've lost awareness of what you need, but discipline from the Lord restores it. We need to be reminded that God is always right. We go astray, but he's not our little friend. He's God Almighty and our Father in heaven. He is completely in charge. And he's going somewhere with all of this. And where he's going is not to the gratification of your sinful flesh and juvenile mind. He is conforming you to the image of Christ. New American Standard Bible translates the same verse as follows. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Faithfulness to his glory Faithfulness to his people, faithfulness to his holiness, faithfulness to his purposes, and faithfulness to you. Thank him for it. Let me pray for you. Father in heaven, we thank you for disciplining those whom you love. Father, help us to receive it when you tell us that we needed it. And God, we pray that we would not vex and bully rag with you about disciplining us, but that we would be grateful for it and move toward the goal that you were using discipline to accomplish in our lives. Father, drive foolishness far from us, instill godliness in us, and let us bring glory and honor to your name and blessing to your people with every aspect of our lives. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So, May the Lord bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And remember, as always, I love you. I'm praying for you. And I'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning. God bless you.